Just trot again with the right trot. Case when you have a conventional oh. fighter, and Good there shot. is Canelo. But before that, if you are new to our channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for updates of next upload videos. Gentlemen, one of the rules are in the dress room. I want you to obey my commands. Flex up all times. Good luck, Clay Olympia. The sea of humanity here at the Alamo Dome erupting like a volcano. The bell in round one of the fifth unification fight. Days. This is his 266th round as a player. Trout launches the jab, goes downstairs to the body with the jab. But this, but this is Canelo needs to start landing. And there there's a right hand that connects for Canelo. Flashes the jab. So like we saw him do many times against Miguel Cotto in his last fight. This is his 150 liquefying left hook. And there's a lead left hook as he swarms Trout along the ropes. Slow oh. down the fleet-footed Trout. You see a lot of times they're straight shot. They're the top 15 seconds left in the round. Oh, a nice jab from Canelo. That stings Trout. Oh, comes man. back. Straight right hand by Canelo. Grazes off the cheek of Trout. Uppercut by Canelo. Counter right by Trout. Trout now going to the uppercut. He's well. actually almost done better than Canelo since he's been hurt. Canelo rips a right hand to the body. To the pass, especially the smaller ones. Canelo's right cross and Trout's left cross. A lot of times they throw it to the chest. High guard on the right side, and there he blocks that. Straight left from Trout. Trout looking to put together a one-two combination. And that's what Canelo... Uppercut by Canelo. Pays dividends later. He's done a better job to the body. Once that head movement stopped, he's been stationary for those straight shots Trout's throwing. Although oh, it's a nice. good counter from him. Nice. counter Canelo. right from Canelo. Another right hand connects. Wants to circle away from the right. There's Trout with a nice short left uppercut. And you know, Lawrence Cole, the third man in the ring, who's taken some heat over oh. bouts in the past, has and let again, them fight. Good right hand feet by Feet getting Canelo. tangled there. It wasn't... Left uppercut by Trout finds its mark. Trout threw the uppercut very effectively. He's obviously not watching the fight. Controversy has reigned supreme in the state of Texas in the past. Trout's camp, very cognizant of what they were coming into here. Know, know what that means, Al? That means for those of us that are actually watching the fight, good uppercut there by Canelo. Now Trout, uppercut, going on the offense, looking to establish control in the center of the ring as he Unloads two jabs and goes downstairs to the midsection. Black and white. And Trout pops Canelo's head back with the jab. Now Canelo comes back. Here's how the Showtime crew has it unofficially. You can see that, uh, except for Steve Farwood, who has the fight a draw, both Paulie and I, and there were several times in the Cotto fight when Trout did that. I think a solid counter shot. You need to make yes. Canelo think twice about being so aggressive. A solid Ooh. counter shot will do that. That, might, that their scoring was the same as ours. Two, two, uh, two judges had a one point for Canelo, and one judge oh. had it even. Yes, yes, they do. Canelo, to me, looks like he's just slowed a tad in this round. Well, he started the Taking round very Taking a look at good. the uh, total body shots. The volume work from Trout, though, has been much better in this round. And that body work's paying dividends right and now. And he's cutting the ring off on Canelo. Yeah, go figure. Austin Trout showing heart and grit. But he's got to be careful Funny. because Alvarez is landing some big shots. He is finding a home for that overhand right. This fight has so much intrigue because we know Trout can be hurt, even in the rounds in which he does well now. Wasn't so much the shot that Canelo threw. And there Canelo digs away with a couple of short right uppercuts and the straight left. The jab finds its target. Cotto. Didn't expect to see it too much in this fight, but he's landed it. And Trout. They've been told in Austin Trout's corner. They know what that score is. So the point is, we're now going to see whether Austin Trout can pick up the pace. This has been, by and large, an Austin Trout round, except for the one big power punch that Canelo Alvarez landed.
Left hand to the body by Trout. Left uppercut to the body. There's a right uppercut to the torso by Canelo. Catches Trout again with the right. Trout lands the straight. Known as a slick, crafty southpaw, more of a defensive first fighter, but now unloading a series of left uppercuts. Canelo. We've reached the midpoint as a nice right uppercut by Canelo. The midpoint of the fight. A look at Austin Trout's family. His You were, you were wondering how he landed it from so far away. Yes. Well, that explained it out. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Halfway point of the fight. Round of seven underway. And as is often the case when you have a conventional oh, fighter. And there shot. is Canelo dropping Trout with a straight right. Six, seven, eight. Trout winking at Canelo. Like... Trout goes down for the first time in his professional career. Just a 94 for Alvarez, and you know, uh, Alvarez is landing well, but Trout is the busier fighter. That might be it. A Under strong jab. A minute here as Trout now beginning to connect on Canelo with the jab and the follow-up left. Canelo comes back with a straight right down. Sticks the jab. Trout goes to the body with the right hand. So what that... Oh, and a nice right hook there. Trout, Trout trying to survive another overhand right. A counter left from Trout. And with every Ooh. shot gaining confidence as great right finds its mark. It's a great round of boxing. Counter right by Trout. I agree with Swift, man. Some of these rounds can go either way. And there's a nice straight left from Trout as the action picks up here in the night. More chances. And he forces him to go into the teeth of the lion, so to speak, because Canelo is the puncher. Although Trout lands a good shot there. And he is more aggressive here. Yes. The thing is, he throws him about once a minute. And the rest of the round, a lot of times, is controlled by Trout. So a lot of times, it's Canelo winning the round when he's a little busier. But if he's not busy, he's giving up the round. Canelo coming forward. Counter right by Trout. Both have thrown the exact amount of power punches as Trout again, looking to establish the back. Not landing as effectively as it was earlier. Canelo so using hand, some head movement. And again, this is what Louis Burke was saying. He's fighting in spots. Can Trout take advantage of, of Canelo taking the rest of his rest time? And is Trout landing enough punches solidly to win these rounds? Trout, who again resets. There's the one-two combination by the south pot. He gets jacked to the jaw again by the uppercut. That right uppercut finds the chin of Trout again. Canelo done with the showboating for a moment again. With the high guard, has his hands up and then comes back. Yes. Has Trout. But he knows all he has to do is end the round, then he wins the fight. It's been Trout's commitment to the jab. But Can Canelo backing up. Trout lunging forward with the straight left. Canelo going downstairs with a left to the body. He doubled that right hand up. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, uh, maybe off balance. Canelo misses wildly with the right uppercut as Good head movement. Good head Canelo. movement by Canelo, avoiding the brunt of that attack by Trout from the counter shot from Trout. Trout's controlling this round, and Canelo keeping his hands very low. You know, Al, you made a point with those body shots Trout yeah, throwing. Canelo doing a good job. I was saying that. When you have a orthodox fighting his southpaw, the feet get tangled, makes him look a little awkward, but right now they We are in Texas, you never know how the judges here will see things, just ask Pauli Malinacci. <laughs> no comment. You know, Canelo's pushing those right hands, but every once in a while he throws them crisp and correctly and they land. There's a straight right hand by Canelo, keeping Trump honest. Trout throwing punches that time as Canelo. But it is true also, at least he knows where he stands. Normally he wouldn't. So this is an interesting uh, exercise in open scoring, or at least semi-open scoring. And Trout on the ropes momentarily. Ten seconds left in the tenth. Nice straight left. Canelo misses with a one-two. There's a right hand to the body by 
Canelo. Straight left by Trout. 20 seconds left in. Jab upstairs and downstairs. There's Canelo with the jab and then the straight right to the sternum. Utilizing head movement. Trying to befuddle Trout. Trout, though, lands the straight left to the... Lead left hook connects by Canelo. Trout's got to be careful here. He's spending some time in the pocket. <laughs> well, Trout now has Canelo on the ropes, and Trout lands the straight left, now flashes the jab. And this is what I mean. It's almost like Canelo saves him. Coming, bring his momentum back forward. There's another right hand. Trout shakes it off, saying he didn't hurt me with that one. Now they exchange single shots. We are headed to the 12th and final round here in Texas. Title unification. Maybe he's worked a little bit more this round. But he's made it count. You know, he the power he's throwing this round has landed a little bit. He's, he's feeling uh, confident. A little showmanship from Canelo. He's feeling confident. Does a little shuffle there. Regardless, he stays committed to it. Overhand, a straight right hand there by Canelo connects. Wants to double up, but for the most part, we haven't seen the combination. A crowd punch. all on their feet. You know, here's a dilemma about open scoring. Jim Gray, who had the scores read to him by the corner of Austin Trout, that they read it directly from the information they got from the WBC. So presumably, the hardcore fans predicted judges scorecards here in Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Judge at ringside, Ray Danseco. De Guadalajara, Saul Canelo Alvarez. What can you say about the fight? Comment your reaction below. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates.